Okay, this is Google Earth. Sky, actually. There goes the moon. That little planet is Mars. Going by. The one that's right here is Saturn. Here comes Venus. Here comes Mercury. There's the Sun. This is what's going to happen. Up here at the top we can see how the timelines are changing. There's the planets. They're lining up. This has got that'll be a nice sight somewhere on the Earth. The time will be September 2nd. I haven't figured out exactly where we're up with this, but here we go again. Try to get it better again. Start her up. There's the moon. There they all line up. And the date is September 11th, 2008. Want to see that again? Move this all the way over. As I move it, things change. Go back there. So see the moon coming in front of it. Go as close. The date. September 11th, 10 p.m. And that's a coincidence. But you know what? It's not a coincidence. These are all mechanically predictable. It's going back and forth. Now, look at m Mercury. Starts to go the other way. That's predictable. It looks like it's going retrograde. It's going around the sun the other opposite direction. Stop. This Google Sky and the oh, in the background, Leo. This is if you set it up to show the zodiac. I think it's under Cassini. Here's a close-up of them on September 11th. Here they are moving a little bit to one side. You can see how they go past. They actually, what's neat is. Google Earth shows, and Google Sky shows Venus and Mars seemingly crossing paths, but it also shows that Mars will be in front, like eclipsing Venus. But in reality, it's not, because you go closer in, you can see that they're far they're apart. But there's a planetary plane that they're all on all on, so it's just going to be neat. It's just the way life is. Many places predict